I like the challenge of teaching and there is nothing more uh, f uh, f fulfilling personally to see a student who learns and eventually at the end of a semester or even at the end of a lecture gets it. I often hear from students after many years, they write me back and say, now I get it, you know. <laughs> I enjoy the student body, it tends to be international uh, with a good mix of Americans and Europeans and, uh, and others. It, uh, uh, wonderful colleagues, it's friendly. I like the fact that it's small. I've taught in big universities, I've worked in big universities. I like the idea of having small classrooms and get to know my students. In a large university, you never know your own students, you know. In travel, beside the subject matter per se, I want the students to learn to be travelers and not tourists. That is to say, to really understand what makes a place the way it is. Of course, we go into details, and often the success of travel comes from the fact that students may go back to the place. The idea is to introduce a place, and then once they know it, they'll go back to it. Um, in the United States, you find them at the State Department, Department of Defense, uh, um, banking institutions. Uh, uh, in Europe, they're in foreign services for diplomatic service. Uh, they are in NGOs, IGOs, for example, banking, international businesses. Um, some have gone into teaching at some level or another. Others have uh, volunteered for the Peace Corps. I have right now a student I just heard from on the Peace Corps in Central Asia. I've had actually several students went to Peace Corps and they did fantastically well, and then they came back, they may have joined the State Department or gone into international corporations.